What is going on guys? You know what to do. It's that Beastly Boys here to here making a video for you guys today. And you know, I'm all geared up in the John Cena gear. You know, he came out with a new shirt. If you guys didn't see that on WWE.com, I recommend you check it out. I think the shirt is pretty cool. It's a throwback series. So this is his late last shirt. Not his latest shirt. But you know, I'm looking forward to probably getting that. Because, you know, if you're listening, mom... Wink, wink, I want the shirt. Anyways, and the wristbands and the hat. Two wristbands times two, because, you know, I got to have two, because John Cena wears two. Anyways, that's besides the point. This video is showing you guys the WWE Monday Night Raw 5 point preview. And I just want to show you guys real quick. Look at my fresh cut. I just had to add that in the video. You know why? Because, you know, you guys don't see me with a lot of new haircuts that much because i don't like gonna haircuts oh my gosh i'm getting off the topic of this video ladies and gentlemen <laughs> but you guys know tonight's monday night raw wwe hasn't been doing that delivering very well on the monday night Raws lately but you know what there's like four legends uh hulk hogan uh Shawn michaels razor ramon and Somebody else. I forget everything. Anyways, um, but, you know, those are some pretty big legends. Those are some pretty big names on Raw. So, um, unless they don't, like, do the same old stuff that they do on Raw with, like, a lot of legends, I think that this could be a huge way for WWE to bounce back and for Monday Night Raw to become the best show on cable television. Bottom line. Bada bing, bada boom, realest guy in the room. But anyways, um... I'm going to be reading this from me iPad, and let's get to it. Um, this week's host, I mean this week, a host of WWE Hall of Famers and Legends will converge on Dallas, Texas for Raw, for Raw Reunion, a celebration of sports entertainment history. We've already learned that Hulk Hogan, Scott Hall, Ric Flair, and Shawn Michaels. Oh, I, I forgot Ric Flair. How can you not forget Ric Flair? He's a nature boy. Woo! will appear to take part in the festivities. But W.com can't confirm that joining the team will be Kevin Nash, who was recently in jail for fighting with his son in a bloody mess. Uh, anyways. <laughs> X-Pot, Jimmy Hart, Billy Gunn, and Ron Simmons. Oh my gosh, this is action-packed. And, uh, but why is... Billy Gunn up there without Road Dog, like can't have Billy Gunn without Road Dog. They're the new age outlaws, well the old age outlaws. And I really don't get why all these legends are on the show. I have no problem with these guys being on the show in general, but this is the go home show for the WWE Royal Rumble pay per view, kicking off the road to WrestleMania. You could have done this last week, the week before that, but do not do this on a go home show for it. Pay-per-view. This is a go-home show for Night Raw. Well. What a waste this all-star evening. Well, Brock Lesnar exact revenge against Seth Rollins. Some people called it opportunistic. Others called it Seth Rollins has a death wish. Regardless, Mr. Money in the Bank made a major statement on, on last week's Raw. When he did not only curb stomp John Cena during the contract signing for the Royal Rumble's triple threat match WWE World Heavyweight Championship, but delivered a sickening move to the reigning title holder, Barack Lesnar. <laughs> Thursday night on SmackDown, Rollins struck again, this time threatening Paul Heyman in Lesnar's absence. Even though the authorities behind them, the architect has to be careful. The ravenous beast incarnate will be looking for payback. You dang right, daddy. <laughs> you guys are my dad. Is Ambrose his own worst enemy? I think he is. He's lost every single pay-per-view match since the Shield broke up. Even though... Dean Ambrose was standing tall at his on the conclusion of Thursday night SmackDown. The lunatic fringe was feeling 
far less cele celebratory last Monday night when the United States champion Rusev battered Ambrose so badly the referee was forced to stop the match. The unstable superstar argued with the official or the season and blindsided by a super kick from the hero of the Russian Federation after the bow. Ambrose wasn't necessarily concerned with the well-being lately, and as the lunatic friend seeks to gain momentum in the lead-up to the Royal Rumble match, there's no telling how he'll put his body on the line this week's Raw. But will Ambrose devil may care attitude be his undoing? I, that made no sense. I don't even know. No. Some rocket scientist probably wrote this. I don't even know. Uh... <laughs> uh, sorry guys um if i stutter a little bit i, I dropped out second grade <laughs> i'm kid i kid i kid i kid for the first time in months daniel bryan returned to action thursday night on smackdown battling kane in the night's opening contest a belt that was interrupted by j and j security and then successfully Teaming up with Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns against Seth Rollins, Big Show, and Kane at in the night's tag team main event. Well, that's so original. Six man tag in a main event with six big stars. Hmm. Anyways, after showing no signs of ring rush, actually, he did kind of a little. Anyways, he pro his prolonged absence from the ring, the yes man. Now looks at the Royal Rumble match and beyond determined to headline WrestleMania for the second year in a row and compete for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Well, I am telling you right now, I do not want Daniel Bryan to main event WrestleMania again. Again. I'm not saying I've never, ever again. I'm not saying, like, never, but he did it last year. Like, he had the clean sweep of a year, triple of the year, Triple H booked in the beat him, Randy Orton, and Batista to win the WWE World Heavyweight Championship in the same night. So I'm sick of the pity party story with Daniel Bryan. You are no longer the underdog, okay? You are no longer the underdog. So stop, stop it. I do not want to see that happen again. Like, forget Super Cena. You're going to be, everybody's going to be calling him Super Daniel now and hate him, huh? Um, by the support of the Yes Movement, Brian seems more confident than ever. However, his dreams might very well be crushed by the authority on SmackDown, where he must battle Kane in a rematch with his Royal Rumble match spot on the line. Will Triple H and Stephanie um, heap even more obstacles on the Yes Man on Raw? Uh, why didn't they do this match on Raw? This match should be happening on Raw. But it's probably to get SmackDown a little more views. Because SmackDown doesn't get nearly as much views as, uh, Raw. But, you know, if you put, like, a big match like that up there, uh, people are going to watch it. But, um, I think Daniel's going to win. They're probably just going to put him first or second or something like that. Here's the last point of the five-point preview. Let's do it. Load. Will Reigns and Big Show clash once again before the Royal Rumble match? Hopefully, nah. 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 Roman Reigns and Big Show, I'm sick of this. They're booking Roman Reigns to book win the Royal Rumble, and uh, there's nothing that we can do about it. I am done. I am done with this. Roman Reigns is going to have the clean sweep of the whole Royal Rumble match. He's probably going to eliminate Big Show by himself. Like, you, you just throw him out and Big Show's just going to jump out. Like, something stupid is going to happen like that. Uh, But, you know, speaking of throwing yourself out, I think it's going to be kind of funny in the Royal Rumble match if the Miz gets thrown out and then Miz now just jumps out the ring and eliminates himself for the Royal Rumble. Anyway, that's besides the point. Roman Reigns is an odds favorite to win the Warrior Rumble match. Yeah, Triple H's eyes because he's booking him to win it. Uh, but he'll need to get through the big show first. The Giant announced his participation in the over-the-top rope bout Thursday night on SmackDown, and there's nothing the world largest athlete would enjoy more than tossing Roman Reigns over the top rope himself. After Reigns got the better of the big show on SmackDown, the Goliath is surely anxious to get his hands on the powerhouse before the Warrior Rumble match. Will we see a giant-sized 
collision between these two rivals. Tune in to the Royal Reunion Monday night, 8, 7 Central on the USA Network. Don't miss the Raw P Show at 7.30 Eastern, only on the WWE Network for just nine ninety nine. Uh, am I a sponsor for WWE now? Like, I just read that thing. WWE, get on it. Uh, please. Thank you. Uh, anyways, sadly, guys, that's the end of this video. You guys know you'll be seeing me again tomorrow, like always, because I have no life. You know it. You know it. You know it's true. I'm sorry that, like... A video didn't get uploaded like on Saturday because you know the TBW thing like the video takes so long to upload on the computer. So if you guys are mad at me, uh, then don't stay mad at me. You love me again or nah? Anyway, guys, don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, subscribe, thumbs up if you like John Cena. Well. Thumbs up if you don't like them, too. So, yeah. Uh, love this shirt. Love the wristbands. Love the hat. Love the fresh cut. Love everything about this YouTube channel. Don't forget to like the video. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Till tomorrow, you know what to do. Tell you every time. Tell you every video. Don't forget to watch Monday Night Raw. 8 o'clock. Well, it might be different wherever you live, but it's East, East Coast, New York. It's 8 o'clock. Oh, my gosh. This was like the point. Don't forget to stay beastly. <gasps>